Python classes are like blueprints for creating objects. Let's say we want to create some characters in a video game with attributes like health, damage, and speed. So here I have an example of a class called character. And down here I have two different characters being created, a warrior and a ninja. When you first create a class object in Python, it will always run this dunder init method first. This method initializes the object and also handles the inputs. So you'll see the warrior is being supplied with 100 health, 50 damage, and 10 speed. And the ninja is being supplied with 80 health, 40 damage, and 40 speed. The self variable is supplied automatically and it's always placed as the first variable. You don't have to call it self, but that's the typical naming convention. The self variable is used to reference the particular object it's dealing with in memory. So down here, let's print warrior.speed and ninja.speed. You'll see we get each of the original values we set them to when we first created them. We can also add some functionality to these classes. So here I've added a method called double speed, which just takes the self.speed and doubles it. So let's do warrior.double speed down here and let's print warrior.speed and ninja.speed again. And you'll see the warrior speed has doubled and the ninja speed was unaffected. So you can probably see how having these separate objects with their own unique attributes can be extremely useful in object-oriented programming. Hopefully this helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.